hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to insert the data using bootstrap model okay the laravel crud we are going to do so using bootstrap model a pop-up model we will be doing the um, insertion of data okay so guys let's get started so first thing you have to do is that set up your env file that whatever the data is okay and according to it so now we are going to do a um, model okay that is pop-up model and insert the data with that okay so with the help of resource control I'll be inserting the data so guys first thing we have to do is that um, create a table for it okay so as simple so let's create a table php artisan make migration I am going to create an employee table ok so that is create underscore employee underscore table ok a uh, table name always should be plural ok so just give enter and uh, yeah our table is created now so now let's go into the database migrations will find one data okay table so now we are going to enter some contents into it so like um, so I'll enter four contents so that is string string of name string of um, let it be first name and this last name then next is address and is mobile number ok so I'll give mobile and we'll make it as string this also ok so guys let's migrate this table php artisan migrate ok so our table is migrated into the database so guys now let's close this and we'll create one form ok so inside the views um, there are many contents so do not concentrate on them so let's create one model okay so employee model I'm going to create dot blade dot PHP okay so let's give uh, enter and our employee model is ready so now we will create a HTML content okay so now inside this I am going to just mention with the container so contain uh, container with the heading so I am going to do is that laravel crud mm, with bootstrap model ok so as simple that is nothing but your pop-up model ok so now let me sit and uh, let me first view this page so to work with one form you have to create one what will happen ok so we have to create one controller and uh, give some route and all to it so guys first we will create one controller I mean model first mm, PHP artisan make colon model that is employee model I'm going to create let's give enter and one model is created now with this let's see inside app employee okay we have a model and now let's create one controller PHP artisan make controller that is make controller controller name that is employee controller with the resource I am going to create a resource controller okay so we will be working with that resource controller to do the crud okay so now let's minimize this and let's see inside app HTTP controller employee controller is ready 
with our resource controller so resource controller means index create store show edit update and destroy so we will get all the things with that resource controller okay so guys um, now we will be displaying this form first thing so now we will go to routes web.php let's create a route okay a simple route so if you are using resource controller to directly use resource okay so resource a function that is mm, give our url like i'm going to give employee okay and your controller so we just now we created call employee controller so copy that okay whatever or you can directly type it so i'm going to use that employee controller so the resource will understand everything by itself so at index it will go first thing it will go to index so let's return at this return view what you are going to view is that the model okay so inside resource views i am going to view this emp model okay so employee model page i am going to view emp mo m o d e l okay so model saved and now guys let's serve the artisan i mean let's clear this first clear on oh, it yeah so php artisan serve let's see the output of it okay so we should get this output what is the page thing okay so now let's go to our refresh and okay so i have already setted some contents with that so i'm going to just copy this and paste it over there on my output welcome page so this is a previous video okay where i was teaching about event calendar so i'll just yep laravel curd with bootstrap model so now we will be viewing this page right so what we have given is that route is employee so let's go give a slash and paste type employee so laravel curd with the bootstrap model okay so now mm, yeah so let's start with the model and insert the data okay as simple so guys first you have to do is that go to your browser go to your model okay get bootstrap.com from there you click on documentation okay as simple go to components inside that you will find a model okay so model is over here so i am going to copy one model so let's see this example yeah this is fine so let's copy this okay so i'll copy this model and paste it over here okay so let me close this and yeah so this is my model okay so it is mentioned over here my model and like mm let me say this is start add model okay and end add model done so this is the button to launch so to work with this first thing you have to do is that copy the link okay so let's um, search so i'll copy the css link copied go to your i mean head tag paste it over there okay and now um we have to take this javascript also okay so just copy that and paste it before the body close okay so now done so guys now let's see the output of this go re reload the page and you will get like this okay so let's launch it you will get the content okay so let's um design the input form inside the body of it okay so go to bootstrap components 
forms okay so I'll take few forms in from this so I'm going to copy some content of that okay so I'll just take this one first demo itself first one only so I'll paste it okay so this is my form right so what I'm going to do is that I'll take this form outside the body okay and just paste it and after the button close okay so as simple no confusion and now we will change it according to our wish so so guys I have changed now I just um, pause the video and did with it so guys first name you have to do last name address and mobile according to your data table contents okay so input type text where I am giving F name L name address and mobile please do not mention any ID over here okay so we will just use the name thing okay don't mention any ID like this to it okay just leave it with the name so guys and uh, please make sure that the button type is equal to you have to give a submit okay so make sure that submit and uh, let's give a form action so form action is equal to um, what action you are going to give okay and uh, method is equal to post done and this is our form close this is one sector and this is another sector okay so inside that it is closed so guys now let's view the output of it so let's go refresh so guys um the design will be done in next video where we'll i mean to display the data okay so let's click a model so you are getting all the data in it now you will insert some data and save it according to the database okay so but we don't have that till now okay so when you save that it should go and save to the database right so we will code now mm, yeah let's get started so guys we have to give the action that is action of what your employee controller okay so I am going to give my controller name called employee controller at store okay so at store I will give it so this employee controller is nothing but my mm, inside app HTTP controller employee controller okay so I'm going to give at that at at it will go and to the store function okay so as simple so guys now first we'll complete this so after this form we have to give a security token for the Laravel that is CSRF okay CSRF underscore F I E L D field function okay so done and now yeah guys so it's done now let's go to a controller so from when you click on submit button it will go to the action call employee at store so let's go to the store and let's code with it okay so I have already done with the validation part so I'll just paste it so yeah okay so this is my validation where I'm going to validate it according to it so guys now let's code with that um, the remaining thing so let's create a variable called EMP okay I'll call it employees so is equal to new that is your model name okay so my model name is nothing but employee okay just give colon and this when you're using employee so when you're using this employee model so you have to mention at the top okay so let's use employee I mean use app backslash I mean forward slash employee okay employee and give enter okay so this means in your um, let me close in your app folder there is an employee model okay so I'm using that employee model okay at store so as simple and let's just give the commands to complete the storage so as simple like EMPS of f name okay of your database name is equal to dollar request r e q u e s t request that is 
input of what your name field name okay so f name that is field name and let's copy this control c paste paste okay so f name l name last is address and finally one with mobile okay and let's save it give emps that will save the output okay save it and redirect to return and so return and redirect back to the page okay so that is mm, with the message we will send it okay with one message so the message will be in the success yes you see see yes a success comma with the um data saved okay so data saved and redirect where to the url main url okay so main url is over mm, this one okay resource so let's go back and paste it over here so that will be my resource okay so after saving it will go back and save it okay so now when to show this message i have already done the coding for that so i am going to paste that code okay let me close this okay so let's go to your model form okay so i am going to after the container okay inside the container i will paste it paste and let's take this button inside the container itself okay don't let it be out right and now this is our model okay right fine so uh, what i'm going to do is that i will take this model full model itself and paste it above the container okay so let it be clear and enough to understand guys okay so now what i'm going to save it let's run it and um, okay so now what i'm going to do is that launch the model and let's save the data okay so let's enter like first name is ved and second name is prakash so address is bangalore and mobile number whatever you can give okay some dummy data and let's save it so after saving it should give a message whoops so there is one name that does not default value insert into employees update at okay some name is missing over there so let's check it out with that hmm i think it's a controller mistake um let's go to a controller oops we have not changed the validation field okay i mean in a a i am in name and this will be address sorry guys we have done a big mistake so let's save that and uh, yep let's run it once again so let me go back refresh the page and launch the model and let's save the data with prakash address is bangalore and some mobile number okay so now let's save this and let's see now boom data is saved so let's go to our database see guys there is no um inside employee folder and uh, inside table there is no data now let's refresh the data and um yeah so you have got the data okay so by using model we are saving the data okay so now let's save one more name called om prakash okay and uh, he's uh, from bangalore itself and some data a number okay so let's save it and yeah again once again it got data got saved let's re refresh it and check the data okay boom so finally you have learned how to insert the data using bootstrap model thing okay so in next video we will learn how to retrieve the data on a table okay so guys thank you for watching this video and please subscribe my channel like the video share the video and guys thank you once again